Guys, hi, hello, and welcome back. Now, you don't have to be Italian to appreciate the patience and the devotion that it takes to make a good, authentic Italian meat sauce. And if I learned anything from the movie Goodfellas, it's that even in prison, if you're Italian, you can still get a good meat sauce. But what used to take up to six hours simmering on a hot stove now takes but one. This is my Instant Pot Meat Sauce Recipe. And we begin, of course, with our ingredients, which I laid out here for your viewing pleasure. We have about two pounds of country-style ribs, garlic, 28 ounces of San Marzana tomatoes, sweet onion, basil, white wine, two deglaze, tomato paste, crushed red pepper, oregano, olive oil, a half cup of water, which is optional, and some bay leaves. Now the saute feature of the Instant Pot is by far my least favorite, but we're gonna use it in this particular occasion to keep everything in one simple place. Now I'm using about one and a half tablespoons of olive oil, which we're going to put in the bottom of the pot here. And then we're going to simply wait for this to heat up approximately five to six minutes. And then we're going to place our country style ribs inside the Instant Pot, making sure not to crowd them. Now the goal here is just to get some browning. We're not cooking them fully. While those bad boys sit and cook, we're going to dice our sweet onion. Now, as I may have mentioned earlier, the saute feature of the Instant Pot is less than ideal, so it's gonna require some patience. Just do the best you can here with a pair of tongs and try to loosen up the ribs from the bottom of the Instant Pot before flipping. It'll take a little bit of determination, but you will get there. Once our ribs have browned on either side, we're going to add our diced onions, which are going to sweat. Once the onions sweat and release some of its moisture, it's going to be easier to get some of the fond off the bottom of the pot, that is the brown bits that have been left over from browning the meat. After approximately six to eight minutes, your onions will appear translucent, in which case it is time to add our crushed garlic. I'm using about four cloves here, and this is really a personal preference. Use as much garlic as you want, or as little garlic as you want. It's up to you. You're the one making the sauce. After approximately 60 seconds or so, your garlic will become fragrant. Now would be a good time to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Give your tomato paste a good mix and then add approximately a quarter cup of white wine, which is crucial in order to deglaze the bottom of the pan. You will end up with a burn warning if you don't do this carefully. So go ahead, take your time and get all the bits out from the bottom of the pot. It's now time to add our tomatoes. So go ahead and dump that in there and break up the large pieces with a wooden spoon like so. And it is now time to reintroduce our pork to the pot. So go ahead and throw those in there along with the juices left in the bowl or plate that you put them in. Now, if adding a carrot to your tomato sauce seems unusual, that's because it is unusual. But what it will do is help lower the acidity of the overall sauce. And now if you are not a stranger to a little bit of spice and kick, go ahead and add some crushed red pepper flakes to your sauce. But again, this is optional. Now we're going to add a slightly less optional bay leaf, a little bit of basil, some dry oregano, and salt and pepper to taste. Now we're going to place the lid onto the Instant Pot, set to sealing, not venting, and we're going to cook on high for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, 45 minutes. <clears throat> Thank you. Your timer will begin once your pressure release valve pops up like this. After 45 minutes, you're going to let the pressure release naturally and then remove the lid of your Instant Pot. Go ahead and fish all of your ribs and carrots out of your tomato sauce. Now with your ribs set aside, you're going to remove the bone from the meat, which should happen extremely easily. In fact, the bone is actually gonna to wanna to slip right away from the meat and what you're left with is, well, this. The most tender, delicious pork you may have ever had. Now we're simply going to reintroduce our meat to the sauce and give it a final stir. And of course, a final taste test, which we're going to do using a piece of bread. Anything else is just unholy. That is so good. Now this step is optional, but if you would like, you can put your Instant Pot back on saute, which will simmer out some of the extra moisture of the sauce if you find it needs to be reduced. And the only thing you have left to do now is don't be shy. Grab a big old ladle and start scooping some beautiful sauce over some pasta. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese, maybe some basil, and now you can enjoy a delicious prison-free meat sauce just like the Italians. And guys, that's how easy it is to make the Instant Pot meat sauce recipe. As always, check out the link in the description below where I will show you product details like this.
This is a replacement o-ring that goes underneath the cover of the Instant Pot. And if you've seen any of my other videos that I've done in the past, and it's one of the things that I strongly, strongly advise you to purchase because it prevents all of your food tasting the same. Now guys, as always, keep busy, stay healthy, be happy, and I will see you in the next one.